today as one of my most requested videos, I'm going to give you guys a full tour of our complete car collection. But first, it's way too dark in here. Everything is covered up. So let's get these doors open. The X5 here just looks way too out of place. Let's move it over there. Much better. Now we also got two in the driveway over there. We got three across here, three in the garage. You guys already know the M5. We're gonna start there and we're gonna go through the whole list together. Now the cool thing about our car collection, I think everything over there as well, is this is somewhat of a realistic car collection. So it's not gonna be a bunch of Ferraris and Lambos and what you see huge YouTubers have. This is something I think is super attainable. Tell me if I'm wrong. We're not in the poor house or breaking the bank on what these cars are. Now, that being said, we have some super unique cars that I don't think you see a lot, and a lot of them have a good bit of power. Now, I think we have one of the most unique car collections on YouTube. A lot of the cars we have here, I don't think you're gonna see anywhere else on YouTube. It's not your typical 17 Lambos, although I wish it was, and 50 Ferraris, but we do have some super unique builds that I think are actually pretty rare. Now, the only thing that makes me sad about this, these top three get the nice covered warm garage spot. Well, unfortunately, the M5 E60 gets shafted to the outside one of these days. One of these days, I'm gonna get a garage spot and it's gonna be the best day of my life. So let's just jump right into it. And to start our tour of the car collection here, I wanna show you my 2006 BMW M5 E60. Now, as you can see here in Toronto, Canada, we do have a good bit of snow at the moment. And this one is pretty mad down on the cover with the snow. So I'm not gonna fully unwrap it, but you get the gist of it. This is what my whole channel here is about, is building this car. We got so many big plans for it coming up in spring. A little bit about the car really quick, if you don't already know. This one in particular has 514 horsepower, 507 stock, but we do have some air intakes at the front that do help us get a little five to seven horsepower extra. We've got the M6 E63 wheels on Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. These tires are an absolute beast in the summer. I love them. In the winter, unfortunately, no good at all. If you want to see a full model list of the car, I'll leave it up here right now. But very quickly, we got a front lip on it. We got black grills. We've got a trunk spoiler here on the back that you can't see because it's covered, but it's right there. We have a custom axle back exhaust on the car. It's absolutely amazing. I do a lot of cold starts on the channel. So if you want, check out my other videos. There's tons of starts on it there. I've had the car for five years now. It's got 225,000 kilometers on it. I think it may be the highest kilometer, highest mileage M5 in all of Canada, in all of North America, maybe. If you know one with higher mileage, let me know. This car's had its share of issues over the years. We put a good bit of money into it, but I cannot get rid of it. I mean, it's just, it's a work of art. Come on. We also just ordered a rear diffuser for the car that's gonna help fill in this gap that we have along the bottom right here. Gonna make it look super clean, super nice. So I'm super excited about that. Coming in two to three weeks, I'm gonna make an install video on that. Of course, we're doing all kinds of stuff to this M5. I can't wait to show you. So number one in our car collection is the BMW M5 E60 V10. Now, just so you guys are aware, we actually have eight cars total in the collection, three in the garage, three in front, two in the driveway up there. Some are more interesting than others, so I'm gonna spend a bit more time on a few, but just to let you know, we got eight overall. Now, coming in at number two in our car collection is the V12, I believe it's 2011 BMW 760 Li. If you haven't been able to figure it out, we are a bit of a BMW family. Now this car is absolute luxury through and through. It's got massage chairs on the inside and the front two passenger seats, champagne cooler in the back, V12 engine under the hood here, even bigger than the M5, which makes me a little bit jealous, but it's the way it is. And this car looks like it's straight out of The Godfather, some sort of mafia movie. Now, when you're driving this car, and I've driven it a few times before, you cannot hear a thing. The sound cancellation and the luxury on the inside is absolutely unmatched. This car is so clean. We actually have it debadged here, so it gives the back a really, really clean look. And my favorite thing about this car is you get so much power. You touch that gas pedal and you're going. But the thing is, you don't feel like you're going. You know, you'll you'll, you'll be driving down the highway and you'll go, oh yeah, I'm going like 100, 110 kilometers per hour. And you'll look and you're going like 150, 160. The drive in this car is so smooth. You literally cannot feel a bump. You cannot feel anything. Kind of feels like you're driving on a cloud. Super clean car, a lot of power, bit of a sleeper, but overall very cool, very comfortable. 
So number two in our tour of the collection is the 2011 BMW 760 Li V12. Now I'm sure you guys have seen this in the background of this video so far, and I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. Let's get this one unwrapped and I can show it to you. This is my dad's dream. This is my dad's baby right here. And uh, it's a monster. But this is our Corvette Z06 with the ZR1 body package on it. This thing is probably the fastest, the best, the highest performing, the most expensive car in our collection right now. Now the coolest thing and the best part about this car is my dad actually got it in the midst of the COVID lockdown when used car prices plummeted and he got this for a really good price and it's almost doubled in value since then. With the brand new mid-engine Corvettes coming out just recently and the wait list for those and the back orders on those being so long, we're talking years here and people actually bidding to buy them, these cars have become the new favorite. Because it's the previous model and the availability on them is a bit better than the new ones, like I said, these cars have become the new one to get, which means the prices are literally just skyrocketing. And <laughs> again, it's been a really good investment. I mean, we've almost doubled the money since buying this car. This car has one of the nicest fronts I think I've ever seen. Corvette has done such a good job with this where they are starting to create affordable supercars at a fraction of the price of the competitors. We got the super nice black wheels with the red brakes. <laughs> My dad's gonna kill me for this, but I forget the name of this color right here. Some kind of gray. It's almost like Nardo gray, but darker. I remembered Watkins Glen gray. This is a beautiful color. We've got the blacked out headlights as well, just to match. We got the huge ZR1 front lip on there too, to match with the rest of the body kit. This thing is beautiful. Probably my favorite car in the collection personally. Maybe one day I can get us out for a drive in it for a future video. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But so far, what would you take? The 2006 M5 E60, the V12 760 Li, or our Corvette Z06 right here with the ZR1 package. I mean, look at these hood vents, man. So clean. And he takes such good care of this car. I don't think there's a single scratch on it. There's no dust on it. There's no nothing. This thing is absolutely babied, but the best part of it is when summer hits, you can bet this thing is out on the road every single day. Obviously not today because of the snow. So number three in our collection is the Corvette Z06 with the ZR1 package. What do you guys think? Let me know. Now taking a total 180 from this modern supercar right here, we're going right over to an absolute classic. Can you tell just by the tire there what kind of car you think this is? Let's unwrap it. Now I think out of every car in the collection, this one probably gets driven the least and you'll see why in just a second. Oh baby, are you ready for this? Any guesses, any guesses? Adding to our collection, we have a 1978 official pace car Corvette Stingray Collector's Edition. Now the story about how we got this car is actually super interesting. Very quickly, we've got the official pace car as part of the 62nd annual Indianapolis 500 on May 28th, 1978, as you can see right there. This car is super cool. Look at the inside, timeless. We got the seats flipped down right now, which is why it looks like that. We got it on the charger. This one doesn't get driven a lot, as you can see, and as you know why, it's an absolute classic, but it's also very weather dependent. You know, it's old, we wanna make sure it's taken care of. So we like to keep it safe, keep it clean, but we also do drive it. So the story as to how we got this car. So my dad was driving home apparently one day, and this was on the side of the road with a for sale sign on it. It was actually a widow who had just lost her husband. And she said that she this was his car, this was his baby, and she wanted it to go to a good home. My dad talked to her about, you know, we've had Corvettes our whole life. This is just one of many that he's had over the years and that we would take good care of it. Brought it home, here it is. Got all the decals on it. The huge Stingray duckbill spoiler here on the back. Really clean lettering on the badging there. We have the classic Corvette badge here. This thing is really, really cool. I actually have never personally driven it. This is kind of one of my dad's babies that he doesn't like a lot of people touching. I can totally understand why though. This thing is a complete collector's car. Out of every car in our collection, even more so than the Z06 right here, this one is the car that probably turns the most heads. I think it's largely in part due to the paint job and the decals we have on the side. And it's just a really nice classic car that you don't see a lot. 
It's got that really nice silver interior, almost like gloss silver, really, really cool. It's an automatic, but still super, super fun to drive from what he tells me. One that hopefully I can get out on the road for you guys at some point, or at least get him out and get it filmed. But this is number four on our collector's list. The 1978 Corvette official pace car Stingray. Really, really cool car, really unique. And I don't think I've ever seen one of these on YouTube or anything. So if you guys want a video on this one, let me know. Moving right on to number five. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one because it is all covered up. Don't wanna touch this one. Porsche 911, this one's super clean. Cannot tell you the year exactly on this one. This is one I actually have very little to do with on the channel. I'm gonna guess it's between the 2009 and 11. I'm not exactly sure, but very cool car, very clean. It's dark blue with a brown interior, good mix. Really nice big Porsche wheels. Again, we got the red brakes there too. Really cool car, rounding out number five in our collection. Now that basically gets the five supercars or sports cars out of the way in our collection. We got the M5 E60, we got the 760 Li V12, we got the Corvette Z06 with the ZR1 body, and of course the collector's pace car edition 78 Corvette. Out of these, which one is your favorite? Did I mention the 911? I can't remember. I'm biased, of course I'm gonna be taking this one every single time. The, the V10, there's just no drive like it. I've owned it for about five years now and I just simply cannot get enough of it. For about a year or so, I was like, do I really wanna keep it? The maintenance is expensive, you know, the modability of it is questionable. There's not too, too much I can do to it, but I've really come to grow and love the car, especially over the past year, I've come to appreciate it. And this spring, we're actually gonna be wrapping it, changing the color completely. We got a bunch of mods on the way. So much we're doing to this car. I'm really excited to show you guys that. Now, kind of breezing through the rest of our collection because it's not the most interesting, but I think it deserves a mention is our BMW X5 here. I believe this one's a 2006 or seven as well. This is my winter beater, what I drive in the winter because this car obviously does not do well on the snow. Now this car has been an absolute saving grace. I took this car to university, which is, which is a big heavy winter town. So it was an absolute must. This car lasts forever. We've had minimal problems with it. Haven't had to invest too much money into it. And it just does well for exactly what it is. The BMW X5 cannot complain. This car just gets the job done, getting you from A to B. Not too expensive, not too bad. And honestly, I've come to love this car a bit too. Very special place in my heart. Now, since there's not enough room in our backyard right here, we sometimes need to move the rest of the cars into the driveway. Again, very quickly, another SUV we have is the Porsche Macan S. Very clean, again, a Nardo grayish color. Nice interior, I like this car. Really clean, I don't drive this one very much, if at all, but still a good looking car. And what finishes up our collection is our GMC Sierra. That's our work truck, that's what we use to tow everything. Anything that needs to get done, all the dirty and grimy jobs, we're going to that Denali over there. Now the Denali is cool because again, it's basically a monster truck. It's got the, it's got everything you need. It's a really rough drive, but it does feel like you're sitting on a mountain when you're driving it or you're sitting in a boat because it gets the job done for you. But again, you're plowing through anything, snow, mud, dirt, water, whatever you need with that car. So not one I drive a lot either. My main two are the M5 and the X5 over there and occasionally the 760 here. So that's where I have the most experience and what I can speak the most on. But that is pretty much it guys our collection of all the cars here in the backyard of the Manjuras household. Which one is your favorite? Is it the SUV up there? Is it the pickup? The V12, the V10, the X5 SUV? Is it the classic Corvette Stingray 78 pace car edition? Is it the Corvette Z06 with the ZR1 packages at the Porsche 911? I know we didn't talk much about that. So the main focus is gonna be over here. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you want a video on any of these cars specifically? Because I know the main focus of this channel is the M5 E60. If you want to see any of these, I guarantee you can get my dad out with them. We've been wanting to film a video together. I'd love to get you guys to meet him on the channel and get him talking about cars a bit because he's very knowledgeable. As you can see, he's the one that got me into cars. And that's why we have the M5 E60 today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which car you want to see. And I can't wait to show you what's coming next for the M5. Make sure you like, make sure you sub. We just hit a thousand a couple weeks ago. Thank you guys for that so much. Cannot wait to see where we end up from there. All the best. My name is Chris. Thank you.